on the couch that criminal justice reform is separate and distinct from what Fetterman is doing. Fetterman on the parole board has voted more times than any other member to let people with life prison sentences out. That is very different than the First Step Act. Mm -hmm. But here's the problem, okay? When you look at the polls, first of all, Fetterman is leading, and he's not leading within the by margin. Single he's single leading. Digits. So, still, he's still leading by 6%. One. Two, I would agree with you on issues as far as that's what the campaign should be about. And I think the reason that, Doc, look, I'm a Democratic strategist, not a Republican strategist, right? But if I were a Republican strategist, I would be telling Dr. Oz tonight to do exactly what Emily just said, because his, his popularity, his approval rating is not good. And this is a problem for him. And it's not just being an outsider, as many view him in the state of Pennsylvania. It's the personal attacks as a doctor on Fetterman's health. And like you said, that's not we what that's not what health, people want. What about voting to let these murderers out? We put up their pictures. We told their stories. I mean, great. Do you think that's going to help him? No. What, what I'm saying is he is six percent ahead. OK, single digits, the, si single digits. Why? Because everybody's focusing on the personal attack. People aren't focusing on the issues that matter to the voters. But obviously, these issues don't matter perhaps as much, just like a debate doesn't matter as much. The people are pretty much set on who they're going to vote for. You know this. It's going to change, you know, a vote or two. But tonight, there are going to be people that are going, oh, look, Fetterman's not fit, you know, for office. He's going to read this. And then the people that love him are going to say, we have no problem with that. He's doing really good. He's going to be better. He'll be great by the time. Because this is the seat that could determine the balance of power in the Senate. So it, I don't think the debate, sadly, is going right. to matter tonight. And Fetterman did what it is doing, in a sense, what Herschel Walker had said, right? Herschel Walker said, look, I'm, I'm not as bright, I'm not as great at well, debates, et cetera. But I think the debate will affect. Thing, though, with your percentages, because I, I want people to really understand. So last hour, we looked at several polls. We do the, the politics average on that. Mm -hmm. um, Fetterman's up by one percentage point. Right. And CBS News Battleground Tracker Poll, Pennsylvania Senate Contest Narrows. This is just from a few hours ago. Um, the most recent polling has them at barely two, just under two. And that uh, Fetterman was up by five points last month. So, yeah, the, I, I don't see six anywhere. I know you can find an outlier, but that gets averaged in. And it's two percent or under. It is squeaky tight, Leslie. Uh, and I think I, his I think his health does matter. Yeah. If he can't do the job, he can't do the job. It's do you think not it matters that he'll need a monitor? Well, yeah, we got we got to run. Yeah. But I will say, I think a lot of voters are going to say, I'm not voting for the guy who lets murderers out of prison, and is the reason I have high inflation because he supports the Biden agenda. That's going to be the takeaway. But we'll see. Coming up.